Now, live from Studio 550, this is the McGraw Show on KTRS. It's uh, 750, and um, you've heard me talk about this now for the last couple of weeks. Sunday in the Park with uh, George is at the Repertory Theater through the end of the month. Let's talk about that and everything else going on with the Rep. Is the artistic director of the Rep and a good friend of the show, Stephen Wolf. Stephen, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS. Hey, McGraw, great to be with you this morning. Uh, Sunday's in the Park with George. We were just talking yeah. off air. Going well, right? <laughs> going great. Going great. We've got another two weeks on the show. Uh, selling well. We've got we've got available seats. Uh, people should call and come see it because it, it's unlike anything they've seen, just in beauty and in music. I've tried to explain it to, to people, and it really is a magic trick. Right. When it's all said and done. When it's all said and done, the, you know, Stephen Sondheim, who wrote it, and James Lapine, who wrote it, created this story about the people in the painting of Surratt's famous painting on the Isle of Grand Chat. And what you see are all those people assembling and their their own worlds in the first act and becoming the painting at the end of the first act in a stunning, stunning theatrical coup. And, I mean, you know, we're used to special effects with monsters coming out of the, the walls and the <laughs> ceiling. Right? I mean, here are special effects in a live theater right in front of right you. Right in front of you. It's it's magic in there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've made every costume you see on that stage. Uh, it's all based on the painting. And, of course, in the second act, we go from 18 – we go from – the early 19th century to the 1980s, um, and and all the characters have changed except, and, and, and it's but it's still connected to the first act of the issue of art and emotion uh, and and the humanity involved in this artist George Seurat. The the lead actor Ron Bomer, um, that's an extraordinary role he plays. Oh my lord, yes, yeah, big got to have a big voice, got to be a big actor. Yeah, yeah, uh, you've got to carry it. I mean, it's a big star role. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was just afterwards was like that guy's. I mean, that he's in it, virtually every scene. And oh, yeah. He's got songs that go. I mean, it's just fantastic. He's got a great range. Got a great vocal range. I mean, it's great to watch. And and Aaron Davy, who plays Dot, uh, the female lead, uh, very strong. Her articulation in those songs, just to get those words out, get yeah. those lyrics out, is pretty stunning. Are they all local actors? Uh no, no. They're they're out of New York. They're the three local actors. That people know Zoe Vanderhart, Whit, uh, Whit Reichard, Carrie Ely, who are in in the show, and right. some Webster, five Webster students, uh, and the young girl Abby, who plays the young girl in it. But everybody else is out of New York. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. All right, yeah. so that runs through the end of the month. Right, that runs to the 29th. That's right. And you right. can still get tickets. Absolutely. And people who are like, oh, live theater, don't roll your eyes at this one. Don't miss this. This is a treat. Thank you. Yeah, be surprised. Be really surprised. And if you thought you didn't like Stephen Sondheim, that's what we're hearing for people who said, I never liked Stephen Sondheim music, that are beside themselves. They've rediscovered him. It really is a, a yeah. great one. Okay, yeah. um, what's coming up next? Next, uh, a steady rain in the studio theater in our small theater that we started previously views for last night real uh gritty cop drama uh two chicago cops get get in some trouble um and they they talk about their their time on the streets um it's intense uh very masculine play uh and that runs the, that runs starting this week actually so that that starts this week it starts this week yep. okay and, and that runs how long that and that will run till feb 5 okay in the studio theater and then david mammoth's incendiary play race which is about a couple of lawyers trying to figure out if they're going to defend a guy who's uh accused of doing what uh what's his name dsk did in new york i mean it, it, it's very current uh, and these lawyers uh, and the machinations of the law become really intriguing, funny, uh, strong language, to be sure, as David Mamet uh, writes. But uh, it's a powerhouse of a play. David Mamet, who wrote uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, Correct. people might know from the movie. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and there's that kind of firepower in it. Yeah. Um, all right. And that starts uh, the, the beginning the, of February? Fe yeah. February 8th through March 4th. Okay. And then um, what, what's going on after that? After that, uh, on the main stage, the Comedy of Errors, Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Can't go wrong with Shakespeare. Can't, no, you can't. And this is funny, set in New Orleans, 1930s, during Mardi Gras. So it's wild. A big romp. Lots of fun. Now, stop this for a second. You're telling me that you've got a Shakespeare play yeah. set in the 30s. During Mardi Gras. During Mardi Gras, you bet. Because with comedy, in the month of March, huh? 
In the month of March. And yes, of course. Okay, yeah. all right, Well, our timing is perfect, right? <laughs> but you know, it's comedy of errors. This is you. You. You could go. You could go wild with comedy of errors. It's great fun, easy to understand. One of his early plays, just simply clever and silly. I know you don't know this, but uh, you should. And I'm very upset you don't. That uh, you're talking to an award-winning Shakespearean actor. You're right. I didn't know that. Yes. I bet you the community didn't know. No, that. No, no, no. They didn't. In uh, high you, school, you hid this from in, us. In high school, I was in the repertory theater. Yeah. And we did the Midsummer Night's Dream uh, bit. Oh, that, tell me who you play. The play within the play. Yeah, yeah. And I was the wall. Perfect. Yes. And I wore the green <laughs> turtleneck, the green tights, and a giant rock over my neck. And are there pictures? Oh, absolutely there are pictures. <laughs> there there might be pictures somewhere. And I would, the, the, the two lovers had to kiss between the, uh, the chink that and the wall. That would be right. And uh, they were all men. It was all men. Yeah. Um, and it was a blast, and we won Best Ensemble Long Island Shakespeare Festival. I, I am duly impressed. So I, you are talking to an award-winning Shakespeare wow. actor. Thank wow. you. Thank you very much. Rock and roll on that, McGraw. That's <laughs> great. Um, I also heard, I missed it, and I'm really sad okay. I, I didn't get out, but Red was spectacular. Red earlier. was spectacular. Yeah. 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 Uh, absolutely. And what's so interesting about it, the end of Red, uh, Mark Rothko uh, tells his assistant, go out. Make something new. Make something people will see. Change the world. And that's what happens at the end of Sunday in the Park with George. He has The song is move on. Go make people see. Do something new. Yeah. It's amazing. The end of both shows are at the same conclusion about art and, what, and how you can change the world. Red was developed by um, Fox and Associates here in town. Right. Yeah. Right. And yeah. you guys put the play on. Yeah. And um, I still haven't seen it, but they, they say it's one of the greatest plays ever. Yep. I, well, yes. I directed it. I was very proud of it. And <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is a great, great play. And also, one more in the studio theater, yeah. The Invisible Hand, which runs March 7th through the 25th, is a world premiere uh, that we're doing out in the studio. What's the website? Uh, www.repstl.org and you can get tickets on the website. R E P S T L. So rep St. Louis. Louis dot org. Dot org. It's as simple as that. And yeah. you know what? Do yourself a favor, drag a friend if you have to, but don't miss uh the upcoming season. Don't it is... don't don't miss it. And and there's a lot of special plays going on and Sunday in the Park is is staggering and and it's accomplishment, I think. Now um anytime you need um a Shakespearean actor, you know where to I, go. I know where to call. You, you know where to bet. go. You gotcha. Stephen Wolf from the rep. Thanks. Thanks.